Hi, my name is Kelly Berry and I'm one of the registered dietitians at Fisher Titus and today what we're going to talk about is hydration. Hydration of course when you exercise is vitally important um, and it's important for all of our organs to work, our joints to work and for us to sweat and kind of uh, regulate our temperature. So even if it's cold or hot, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, especially with the weather changing right now and it is a little chillier outside that you need to make sure that you're well hydrated. So when we talk about hydration, one of the things that everybody has to keep in mind is just for the general public, um, it's recommended that you have four of these bottles a day of water or clear liquids. Now this does not mean that you should be drinking this amount in caffeine because for every cup of caffeine you have, you have to have two waters to match. So let's say you have a cup of coffee. So that means that you have to fill this coffee cup up twice with water and drink that for every one cup of caffeine you have, whether it's coffee, iced tea, or anything else that's caffeinated. Um, just to keep in mind that this is two liters right here of fluid just for you to keep hydrated as a person without even exercising. So when we talk about exercise, um, one of the things we want to make sure is we're properly hydrated throughout our exercise process. So what we recommend is as you increase your exercise that you want to maybe take a day and weigh yourself before you go and work out and then after you work out just to see the difference. So for every pound of weight that you lose, so to speak, that is actually fluid. So what that means is you need to have two to three cups of water, which one cup of water, um, there are two cups in actually one of these, so it would be one and a half bottles of water for every one pound that you do lose while you're exercising. And a lot of people don't do that, and that is very, very important just to rehydrate what you've lost. Um, and also what you want to consider is what you're eating throughout the day. There are certain foods that you do eat that have more fluid content than other foods, which is very good to hydrate yourself also. So let's take a look at some of those foods and see how we can incorporate those into our meal plan. So as we think about what foods we need to have throughout the day to keep us hydrated, one of the things you need to consider is how much water is in the food choices that we make. Of course, raisins have all the water removed from them, whereas berries or the grapes themselves have the fluid in them. So of course those have a lot more fluid in, which will help you keep hydrated throughout the day. Another thing you can do is you can have um, things like oranges or orange juice, and then also cantaloupe or things that have a lot of water in them like watermelon. So of course our lettuce is included in there and our grapes. Um, all of these things have a lot of water content which will help you instead of having to drink all of these water bottles every day. Some people like to eat more of their foods that contain a lot more water. So either way that you're doing it, it's really good to have that uh, two liters of fluid in per day. Another thing you can do is if you're home and throughout the day is you can take your usual water cup and let's say you drink a glass of water. Okay, so as you're drinking your glass of water and you finish it, you take that same cup of water that's empty now and you have a pitcher next to your sink. You take that amount that you consumed and let's say it's filled up to there that you just drank, then you dump it away. That way you know this is still left throughout the day. That way you don't have to worry about water bottles. So let's say you have a couple glasses in the morning. You will take this 
so that you know that this is what you have left throughout the day to consume. It's a good way to keep track and it's sometimes a little easier to kind of remember that when you're home throughout the day. But either way works, it's just a matter of making sure that you're well hydrated throughout the day. And that's the number one concern for all of us when we exercise is making sure we're well hydrated. So I hope this has helped you to learn a little bit more today and remember, the water content of the foods that we drink does impact our hydration status along with the water that we do drink. Cheers.